Creating the Golden Age. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 87. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 87, October 31st, 2014 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering with videos and pictures everything that we've accomplished, our team has accomplished in the last week. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything that we're creating, complete details, you can visit our written blog. And uh, if you'd like to receive an email update every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to this channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which consists of the Satellite and Pioneer members, finished the first 50% of the lesson plan web page with the central theme of opposites. You can see the first half of the lesson plan scrolling here in the background, and when complete, this will be our ninth finished lesson plan built on these central themes that teach all subjects to all learning levels and ages. If you'd like to visit our Lesson Plans for Life webpage, you can see the other finished pages. We also added these disclaimers to all our existing lesson plan pages to help people understand how adaptable lesson plans are to any environment and or learning and design preference by either students or teachers. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team working on highest good food finished three more complete breakout pages from the large scale gardening page. These included the potatoes page, the squash page, and the peppers page. You can see all three pages scrolling here and you can visit the written blog or use the URLs above to visit the complete pages for all the detailed plant descriptions, planting guidelines, cultural considerations, and more. These new pages load faster and also give us the space we'll need to add recipes, gardening tips, harvesting and canning tips, and videos. Contact us if you have any great resources related to any of these plant species. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing finished our new crowdfunding campaign header, which you can see here. The purpose of this header is to really clearly depict what it is that we're creating and why. This header will be at the top of each of the 15 open source tutorial pages that are part of the crowdfunding campaign. We also updated our crowdfunding campaign overview page with expandable pictures of what we're intending for each of the three domes. Behind the scenes, we finished another 15% of the Dome Home Do-It-Yourself plumbing instructional, bringing us to 30% complete there. And in addition to this, uh, Scott Howard, sustainable building expert and owner of Earth and Hand Natural Building, finished feedback and final edits to the natural plaster section of the open source plaster page, which we integrated 
and then shared that page publicly for the first time. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team added the first 75% of the lighting plan overview details to the Duplicable City Center lighting plan page. You can see those details here and visit the lighting page for additional pictures and other specifics related to our lighting plan, purpose to contribute to LEED Platinum certification for this structure. We also set up the first 10% of the control systems page that will share complete control and monitoring system setup maintenance, evolution, and data gathering and sharing covering water and electricity use for the Duplicable City Center and the Earthbag Village. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team completed our third rewrite and extensive content update of the Fulfilled Living page that describes why we consider a fulfilled living model as absolutely essential to our global transformation model capable of creating a global golden age through building self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities. Behind the scenes, we've also been in communication with several colleges interested in adding our project to the options available to their graduate students. Here are examples of the work we've done to assist with this by creating detailed outlines of how students can help. This is all happening in Google Docs behind the scenes. Uh, we've got one more of these to finish before we start really focusing on this source of help. Last but not least, we added good shop options to helping raise money for one community to our internet help page and ways anyone can help page. What you see here is the internet help page that also shares other ways people can help one community with a time investment of anywhere from 30 seconds to 30 minutes. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community feels that what we are doing is creating the golden age. And with that as our goal, with the idea of creating an age for humanity, of peace, prosperity, productivity, happiness beyond anything that we've ever experienced, we feel that the foundations of that would be self-sufficient and sustainable food, self-sufficient and sustainable energy, self-sufficient and sustainable housing, highest good education models, highest good for-profit and non-profit economic models, as well as true earth stewardship and fulfilled living models. Putting all of these things together is the foundations of creating a life and a living style and experience that others can share and is far beyond anything that currently exists. We feel that we can create this idea of a golden age for small groups of people first in such a way that other people will be drawn to, other people will be drawn to it, interested in it, and want to duplicate it too. And so as we've said many, 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 many times, our goal is to make exactly that easy enough, affordable enough, and to demonstrate it as attractive enough, to demonstrate it as that actual living model that people will want in such a way also that it is adaptable, modifiable, replicable to match the needs and desires of individuals. So it doesn't have to be our way. It could be something completely different, but built on the same foundations and infrastructure such that it is still moving humanity forward. It's not taking away from other people's golden age. It's not destroying other people's golden age. It's not destroying our planet, etc. It's all highest good living that's moving us forward proactively towards that ultimate goal of a planet, a complete planet, living in a golden age. This is possible. 
And if you don't believe it's possible, consider for a moment if it were possible. What would that look like? Would it be sustainable food? Would it be food that gives more than it takes to the environment, isn't destroying the environment, isn't laden, covered with pesticides, and poisons, and toxic stuff that's bad for us? Would it be housing that's artistic and beautiful and do-it-yourself buildable, that's more affordable than what we're living in right now, that lasts longer than what we're living in right now, that is a lot uh, it's not only more durable, but it's also more ecological than what we're living in right now. It doesn't use the Earth's resources in a way that can't be replenished. Would it be sustainable energy? Would it be more parent and kid-centric education where parents can have a more hands-on experience of educating their kids? And would it be complete immersive educational environments, which are the teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that we're building that prepare kids for college and higher level learning and moving on to whatever it is that they want to do as well? Would it be fulfilled living models that give people more free time to do the things that they want to do? Would it be built on collaboration and cooperation instead of competition? Would it be true earth stewardship, looking at our complete global environment and saying, as a species, we have the ability to take care of this. We have the ability to look at species that are going extinct and not only address the extinction of those species, but address the underlying foundations of why the cultures that might be driving those species extinct would be doing so. To say, let's provide for them and take away the incentive for them to kill these animals that, and these creatures that will never return to our planet. Imagine for a moment if our goal is to create the golden age, are we as a species capable of addressing those foundations and building a highest good model that serves all people on this planet that positively contributes to moving the entire species forward and specifically meets the individual needs and needs of small groups in ways that allows their values to be expressed in the ways that they want. So it's not taking away from people, it's not legislating that people have to do something a different way, it's providing a more positive opportunity for people to get what it is that they want in a way that also serves humanity, serves all life on this planet, serves the planet as a whole, serves people in their greater community and their country, et cetera, et cetera, that is the highest good of all way of living. Is that possible? Of course it's possible. This is exactly what it is that we're doing. So if this idea of creating the golden age sounds interesting to you, if it sounds fun to you, if it sounds exciting to you, if it sounds like a noble venture, and even if it sounds crazy, you know, we had somebody, I can't remember who the quote is from where they say, shoot for, the, shoot, for the, shoot for the stars, and if you only get to the moon, then that's still pretty darn good. I think that's what the quote is. You know, our goal is to work towards the total and complete transformation of this planet, positively and permanently transforming the planet for everybody. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if it's something you'd like to be involved in, we invite you to join us. Get involved in our project. There's ways to participate from pioneer members that are people that will move onto the property and build everything as one community to the satellite members that are people working remotely and participating with us behind the scenes to partners and collaborators and consultants who are just donating their time on the side when they can, contributing what they can and helping us to move the whole thing forward. Creating the golden age for humanity, and from our perspective, is really just a matter of participation. So everything that we're doing is designed to increase participation. Everything that we're doing is designed to be implemented as either individual components, which is moving us forward in baby steps. You know, maybe it's improving your garden diversity or just your food quality or your water quality or your air quality. Or maybe it's uh, starting with a little bit of sustainable energy, putting solar panels on the top of your house, something like that. Or implementing a better educational program that allows you to spend more time with your kids and give them a better education at the same time. Or implementing some of those elements just into the education program while they're going to traditional school so that they can be better educated in that way, teaching core level values like love and compassion and courage. Maybe it's something small like that, or maybe it's the complete model, and that's really our ultimate goal. That's where we're going with this, is building complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world, solution models that help others to build additional solution-creating models. So the idea is that we build one, and that helps other people to build them too, and each one of those helps other people to build them too. And if you play this idea out, duplicating a couple every year, if the number doubles every year, we could transform this planet, literally addressing, actually addressing every single human being on this planet. Our population was at 7.5 billion people. We could actually address every single human being on this planet 
in the span of 30 years. Is that an amb ambitious goal? That is a ridiculous goal, but it's worth shooting for. Say it takes 60 years. Say it takes 160 years. Say it takes 200 years, 300 years. It doesn't really matter. It needs to start right now. And so for us, this process started for me full-time four years ago. And our team now has put in, as when I made this a full-time job, our team now has put in tens of thousands of hours creating the necessary infrastructure, creating the necessary components to create this golden age for all of humanity in the way that works for individual people, adaptable, replicable, duplicable, so other people can get involved in the way that they want to get involved. So, and this is what we're offering. You know, a combination of physical sustainability and emotional sustainability, putting those things together for a comprehensive, sustainable sustainability model, a model that literally provides for the complete human experience and simultaneously addresses the complete community experience and the complete global experience, saying, how can we contribute positively to the big, big, big picture? So everyone asks, What's the biggest thing that people can do right now to help one community? Well, number one would be to join our team. Number two would be if you know somebody, if you know somebody that could help fund the getting the property off the market, if you know someone who could help us with large-scale funding, either the donation to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or uh, by investing in one community, the number one thing that would help us right now would be to get the property that we've been working with for four years now We've designed our entire model around this because it's designed to invite literally tens of thousands and ultimately long-term hundreds of thousands of people to visit one community, experience what we're doing, and take the open source blueprints and duplicate them. If you know somebody or you are somebody or you know a group that would be interested in investing in one community or donating to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, we would like to talk to you. That is the number one thing that could help us right now because... It would allow us to build our team exponentially by sharing that location, legitimizing our project to a whole new level, and allowing us to get boots on the ground and gather some of the data that's necessary to take some of our design process to the next level. So if you're a connector, if you're, a, if you're somebody who knows people, sharing our information is another great way to help us. If you know that of an individual person or that group, then it's super helpful. But even if you don't, we are on social media to make it as easy as possible for people to access our information and to share our information as widely and as diversely as possible. So the other great thing that people can do to help us is share our information. Share it through Twitter. Share it through Facebook. We are on Pinterest. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Reddit. We are on Tumblr. We are on all the major social media networks, and we promote our stuff there. We share our stuff there so that people can get access to the open source content, evolve it, take it, use it in the way that you want to, or if you see something that you like, get involved in our project and help us evolve it and develop it even faster. This is what we're up to. So with that, I will say thank you. We're going to continue working on this process, obviously, creating the golden age, it couldn't be a loftier goal. But as we've said before, we're building a bridge between idealism and pragmatism. And the pragmatic part about this is that all the elements that we're building right now, all the little components that we're open sourcing, if all we did was to make those mainstream, to really make it easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so that the mainstream public got interested in it, if we just did that, the impact on our global population would be massive. Could it positively and permanently impact the world forever if we just did that, if we just made sustainability and sustainable living a mainstream concept, something that the mainstream public is interested in participating in? Would that positively and permanently impact the world for everyone? Yes, it would. And so that's one of our benchmarks. So thank you for everybody who follows our project. Thank you for all the small donations. $5 here, $10 here. All that stuff pays for our website fees. It pays for all the little things. All of our team are nonprofit volunteers. None of us are paid. And so those little donations help to keep us moving forward because all of us are working regular jobs and doing other stuff to make ends meet. And so those little donations, those little contributions are immensely helpful as well. And we are so grateful. So with that, I will say goodbye, I will say thank you, and until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.